Okay, hi everybody. Today we're going to be talking about something called inheritance. Um, the best way for you to start to understand inheritance is to look at an example. And um, if this video turns out to be kind of confusing for you, inheritance can be a tricky subject to understand. Don't worry about it. It'll make more sense when you see more examples of it. Uh, and more sense when you see more application of it. Um, Basically, what inheritance is going to allow us to do is let one class inherit functionality from another class. I want to make a pretty simple example. This isn't supposed to be um, really super practical. It's really just to demonstrate the, the principles behind um, what's called inheritance. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to have an automobile class. And it's going to have just one one member, just keep things simple. Uh, so that's going to be speed. The constructor is just going to initialize speed to zero. Um, I'm going to make a speed up method. This increases speed by 10. I'll make a slow down method. This will decrease speed by 10. And then I'll also just make an output speed. Uh, and that'll just let's see like that okay so this way we'll be able to see kind of what's going on all right pretty simple nothing we haven't seen here before um, so now in main if we go ahead and make an instance of this class uh, then that instance we can speed it up I'll go ahead and just do that three times just you know why not get an idea of the basic uh, I don't know <laughs> just the basic idea and then I'll have it slow down, and then I'll have it output speed. So we should get 20 here, right? This isn't too complicated. It goes up by 10 three times. That's 30 minus another 10. It should be at speed 20, right? Okay. Uh, inheritance. Okay, so yeah, we haven't seen any inheritance yet. This is all basically review. We've seen this kind of stuff before. Um, but we'll get to the inheritance in a second. It's important that you understand this example first. Okay, no uh, compile errors? Yeah, there we go, speed 20. Okay, pretty simple. Now here's what I'm going to do. This is where things get a little bit... This is, this is the new material here. I'm going to make a class, and let's say I, I want to make a car class. But I want this class to be able to use the functionality of this automobile class. And maybe I, o I don't only want to make a car class. Maybe I want to make a motorcycle class as well. What if I want both of these classes to be able to use the functionality within automobile, but I also want them to be able to do their own things. Like, for instance, um, a car might need to be able to remember its dealership or something like that. I don't know. The last time it had its oil change, you, you, you know, whatever. That's not necessarily something that every automobile will have to worry about. Um, but it's something that maybe the car would have to worry about. But we still want the car to be able to use the functionality of the automobile class. Well, this can, I mean, we could go ahead and just copy-paste everything from the automobile class into our car class and into the motorcycle class. But by then, if we ever decide that, you know, maybe we really want to increase it by 15, then we have to go through and find every class that uses this speed-up method and change it. So that's not a very efficient uh, set up there, but the, the better setup is to use inheritance. So what we do here is the way that you let a class inherit from another class is we type class, name of the class, and then a colon, and here you put an access level. Uh, for now I'll put public. Um, most often you use public. I'll explain uh, what it means in just a second. But basically what happens here is we're saying class car inherits from class automobile. Now when you inherit from something, that means that you take all of the methods and all of the members and they basically just get duplicated into a new class. Now keep in mind these are independent of each other uh, in some ways. So like, eh, I feel like I worded that wrong when I said that they're like duplicated into the class. That's not really what happens. What happens is it just gives the car the functionality of the automobile class. That's how you should think of it. 
car basically inherits the functionality of the automobile class. Um, so now the car could have its own uh, its own members, like for instance, I don't know, again this isn't supposed to be super practical, but uh, maybe for some reason you want the car to keep track of its dealership. You don't necessarily want every automobile to be keeping track of its dealership, you only want cars to be to do that. So now in the car constructor, we'll initialize dealership to Ford. You know, I I don't mean to like product placement or anything, um, but Ford's just a popular dealership, uh, and I'd rather not just leave it blank, because you know if we're going to be outputting it, I'll go ahead and write an output dealership method, just so we have an idea of of you know what's going on within the car class. Dealership. Okay, so uh, that's all I'm going to have in the car class. But uh, now, with our car class, instead of making this instance an automobile, we can go ahead and make that a car. Because remember, a car has the functionality of an automobile, meaning that a car can speed up, a car can slow down, and a car can output its speed. Now a car can also output its dealership. Just any old automobile isn't able to do that. Only a car is able to do that, or at least that's the way we've set it up. So let's, let's go ahead and compile this and take a look at, at how things how things look. So we're getting speed 20, that's from this output speed method, and we're outputting the dealership Ford. So notice that we're not making an auto automobile class here. We're not making an instance of the automobile class. It's an instance of the car class, but since the car class has the functionality of the automobile class, we're allowed to do things like speed up, slow down, output speed, etc. Well, not etc. That's all that the automobile class can do. But if there was other functionality that the automobile class had, the car would have that as well. So that's, that's pretty much inheritance. It allows you to let one class inherit functionality of another class. Uh, before I finish the video, I guess I should talk about a few things. 